Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Chicago, Illinois, from Twin Flame Body and Twin Flames Merge. Today in this video, I want to talk to you about a topic that upsets everyone who begins this journey for one reason or another. And it's not always due to separation, but it can be um, viewed in different ways sometimes. So we're going to talk about why he or she won't contact. Why won't he or she contact you or communicate or acknowledge you? Why is there no acknowledgement? That's something that's very upsetting for a lot of people, especially when people feel like they're doing a lot of work, they're improving themselves, they're trying to make things work, they've made massive shifts in their life, or sometimes they've made little shifts so that some of those bigger shifts can take place. So we're in a particular energy right now where there is a bit of a pushback, and that's on purpose so that you learn a few things. There's new things for you to know about your twin flame body, and that's the topic of what I do teach. One is that there is no more telepathy anymore. So telepathy is going to go by the wayside and there's reasons for it. There's really valid reasons for it. And it has a lot to do with how people have been able to hack into your union. Why won't they contact or communicate? Well, sometimes there's too much interference on the line and sometimes you can't distinguish. You might not be able to distinguish. Your twin flame might not be able to distinguish. If they're not working on helping to tune in the channel, you really won't have a good line of communication. But the line of communication is not over a device. And that brings me to the next thing you need to know. The next thing you need to know is that you need to be able to communicate over great distances, miles away, not just miles away, through dimensions through levels, and through thick and thin. So just like a lot of the uh, wedding vows say, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, you have to be able to hear, feel each other, communicate with more than just words, and not relying on puny little devices such as this that can fail. Your energies are much better bigger than a lot of the things that we use around our households, that we use every day, day in and day out. And even as we know, even then, communication can be wonky sometimes during certain times of the year, during storms, and you're being much more affected by cosmic energy. So I'm going to back up a little bit here in the spirit of backing up. Is this new to you? I'm going to say something to you right now. If you were to look at some of the stuff that's out here, it's going to scare the crap out of you because there are things that um, you might think as a rite of passage, like you have to go through certain things. We have shifted. There are videos that just really won't address what you actually need to know. And I try to bring you through each thing so that Everything that you need, you can address it and that there's a way to do it. Sometimes I'm talking about energies, but I also have ways for you to hurdle yourself over things very seamlessly so that you can get where you want to go. So that your journey actually gets you to your destination and not the other way around. Not where you get hung up somehow or feeling blocked. This is sometimes uh, one of the topics that accounts for why people feel blocked. They feel ghosted. They feel abandoned then. And you see there's a progression. They won't call back. They don't respond. There's no acknowledgement. And pretty soon you're left feeling neglected, abandoned, and then it brings out all this other stuff. Was I rejected? Was I abandoned? 
Why won't they just contact or communicate? And then anger wells up. Next thing you know, it's a cause for a battle. And I'm saying to you, there are reasons for this and there's no cause for anger. There is another way and there are reasons for this. So some of the things that might occur to you or be questioned by you are, how do I decode this? People use this word a lot. Well, I needed to decode all the messages that I was getting. And when it comes to love, love is very clear. There's no decoding necessary. It goes right through to your twin flame body, crystal clear, where you exactly know the meaning. When you don't know the meaning of something, or if you're struggling, or if you feel like you're getting out your Nancy Drew decoder ring, trying to figure out what is the code here, what are they really saying, you're going to be lost in that. And then you're going to keep doing it. And that's a pattern that has been repeated. That is something that people have learned how to do to manipulate people. They're evasive. They don't know uh, what to say. So sometimes they obscure the truth. And we're in this energy right now that there's like a shadowing effect on certain things. You don't need to live with shadows or other people's shadows or whatever. You need crystal clear love and messages that guide you. That happens through your new template of relationship. That is what I help you integrate. So how do you decode this? I say, let's get above the coding that is either felt necessary or has become a part of your life or even gives you a challenge. You like to somehow decode the messages and figure it out. You shouldn't have to figure out your lover. And that happens far too frequently in old style marriages, old style relationships. You and your true love are cut out of the same piece of paper and there's no decoding necessary because you'll be asking yourself, what's the code? Why did it change up? Why does it, why does it feel like this? Why does it feel like every time there's a message or something on my path? This happens a lot with other signs and signals that people receive. Now, there are good messages that come to you, but unless you're open and receptive so that you can feel it, and I don't mean open like, yeah, I'm open to any kind of love that'll come to me. I mean where you have actually opened your high heart connections so that it can truly be, boom, right in there to you. Not here, here. High heart, heart. What about, can't they pick up the phone? Why did that phone suddenly decide that it weighs 2,000 pounds and nobody can pick it up? And it's not even like old one with, you know, the dial and we're doing this and you just, it is so heavy. Or have you ever done this? The phone rings and you look at it and you try to assess what you're feeling and you try to say, is it this? Is it that? And there you go again. You're decoding. You're trying to figure out what's the code. What's going to happen? Is it going to upset you? Is it not going to upset you? I'm here to help you get above that to a level where the ego doesn't come into play like that, where your ego doesn't feel like it has to protect you. Their ego doesn't feel like it has to protect them or be guarded or say the wrong thing or use the wrong tone of voice or choose the wrong word. And it gets crystal clear. What else is happening in this? Well, there is a shutdown of the mind levels. What are the mind levels? Well, some of this is stuff that either the mind makes up or the answers that the mind has or how the mind, you know, deciphers things, works it out, um, analyzes it and Love is not analytical. Love is love. Love gets you where you need to be. Love is the thing that created you and is you and you're made out of that fabric and it's who you are and it just keeps going and you need to make more of it. 
you're the one that the universe is relying on to be able to click yourselves together. So shutting down the mind level kind of goes along with this because you're shutting down the lower mind. You're shutting down the survivalist mind. You're shutting down the part of the mind that overanalyzes things to death and then still can't figure it out and leaves everyone else around confused and scratching their heads and saying, did we miss something? No, not necessarily. And again, you have to keep going with this. It's incumbent on you to learn how to properly heart communicate. Only you can do this. Your archangels are not going to do it for you. You have to do it one-on-one -on -one with each other. So if it feels like that line has gone dead, like there's some string there and you're not sure, you know, why the radio silence? These are the things people all use. Well, the tower fell and then the wheels came off and then there was radio silence and I was trying to decode it and then I was ghosted and I don't even know in the DM, I don't know what happened. And someone else outside of this would scratch their head and say, what are you talking about? I've been abandoned. Okay. You've abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Okay. You are not a part of that anymore. And this is why a shutdown of certain levels is happening. It's already been happening. You can't go back in time. You cannot go beyond the door. You cannot uh, go. You've passed the point of no return. There's no turning back, but you're going to be really happy because it's like a blessing in disguise that that has happened that way. Does the phone or text work for you? What about if the line has gone dead? And to a degree, people have had uh, valid reasons as to why this has happened. I've done sessions for 10 years with people, and people tell me the most wonderful stories about what have happened to their devices in the meanwhile. It fell in the water. They lent it to someone. It somehow needed to be replaced. There's missed communications, somehow, some way. The universe brings true lovers together. But in the meanwhile, in between those two spaces, those people learned how to heart communicate. And they learned it from a higher level because you're not going to be able to do it properly unless you expand your high heart channels, unless you open and allow to merge several of your cosmic chakra connections and ditch the karmic responses. So karmic reactions are no longer valid for true lovers, even if it feels like you want to, even if you feel angry or even if you feel abandoned, sure, it's going to trigger some of that out. Is some of this getting you triggered? So, and you might know by now and say, you know what, I'm really tired of being triggered, or this may be relatively new to you and say, my goodness gracious, I had no idea why I was so triggered or why I felt this about the masculine or why I was so angry. And I don't know about this, about the feminine. My goodness, I had no idea all this stuff. And I felt so rejected and so neglected and so ignored. And I won't be ignored right? And these are the things that fuel a lot of the simmering resentments that wind up seething between couples who sometimes the other person has no idea. You know what that kind of emotion does? That puts the block. That puts the wall. They can't feel you because you're putting, you're, you're down in the anger instead of up in the high heart. You need your twin flame to feel you you need to communicate with each other. And there's a reason why the contact and communications and the phone line goes dead. Why did the line? The line has gone dead. You have the line to your heart. You have the line to the high heart. That is a part of your body. And that is what I'm here to help and teach people. So sometimes people's mind will get carried away, the mind levels. They'll ask themselves, am I being punished somehow 
Is the person punishing me and they giving me the cold shoulder? Are they just, you know, making sure that I am, you know, like somehow kept on my toes and they're going to make me toe the line and do what they want to do? Why do they have the upper hand? Why are they holding the knife by the handle? This hurts. It hurts my feelings. Yes, it does. And you're not here to be hurt again. You're not here to be traumatized again. You're not here to be manipulated. That is all karma. So when we close the door on karma, that's a part of what you're closing the door on. If you yourself are not taking those next steps to really learn this, because I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, this is so new. It even threw me off. It's something that you have to do and practice and open until it's natural. And I'm going to quote a great quote I heard, and it is, you do it until it becomes your nature. And it's natural, okay? All the things that have happened in history where the mind can say, <laughs> how can I throw them off balance? That kind of stuff you're going to find laughable. But it may not be laughable right now if you're in it. If you are actually in a place where you're saying, but they won't contact me. There are some people too who have uh, twin flames who have passed over the veil. And I know about this and I do help people. And it goes beyond mediumship because that is your twin flame love. And you need to connect with them on a level because they will still help you. When you open up your high heart channels, it helps you in every area of your life too. Um, the quality of your life, the quality of your health, not just the communication, because I guarantee you this, you will go from saying, Ooh, they, they communicated with me. I received a text or I received some communication to that's not good enough. You want more. You need more. You need this like the air you breathe. Then keep going. Keep joining and keep working with me on this because I run classes all the time and I have great sessions to help you do this. People are shifting their energy within hours, days, and within a very short time frame. Why? Because that is the design of the new template. It's designed to help you ditch the past pronto, like this, pronto. Right away, prontissimo. So you're not being punished. That is not a deliberate thing. The universe isn't testing you or testing your strength. Please let go of any such beliefs. I'm not kidding when I tell you, you will let go of beliefs on this because if you believe that you're being tested, that's not going to exactly be the truth about this. If you believe that you're being punished, that means something from your past is something that you have to work on, and I'm still going to help you with that. Because, no, you're not being punished, and you're not being tested and then punished and, you know, having another go-around of it until, no, no. There's reasons for this, and it's time to get the higher line to the etheric twin going because we are in a brand new decade, and we're going someplace with this. So do you just need to talk to someone? Just talk to me. Have a spirit chat session or have a spirit subtle body session. You can email me if you're not sure at either of my emails, twinflamebody at gmail.com or twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. The links are below. I'm in Chicago. I also do live sessions. I do live sessions. I do live energetic body work. And there's a difference with the body work that I do because I'm doing it for two people. I feel both energies and I feel where it needs to shift and how you two need to merge and twine together. You're here to be in love. So thanks so much for watching and check out the links below. Check out my website. I've put a blog together. There's some great stuff and I have a lot of material to cover every single topic. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.